Hello humans, welcome back. Today I'm doing my first cosplay tutorial breakdown thingy. Um, yeah, I don't have a name for it yet, but we're getting there. We're doing Your Forger from Spy Family, which I'm going to be wearing to a convention next month, so I'm very excited about that. So I'm gonna start with my makeup. I already did my foundation and everything, but I'm going to do eyes, lips, all that fun stuff. So if you're excited for today's video, please hit that like button and maybe subscribe if you like this video. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start using a little contour palette and I am going to use this just to do some definition around the eyes. When I'm doing anime characters, I know a lot of them don't wear heavy makeup, but I like makeup and I like color. So I usually do a look inspired by that character's outfit colors or hair colors or whatever, because I think it's fun. But I'm going to try to tone it down a little bit today. I need to put my mirror somewhere else. Okay, so I just added a bit of shadow and then I'm gonna go in with that light color on that same palette and just put a bit of that on the lid. Cute, simple. Now for the fun part. <laughs> So I'm going to take some black eyeliner and just do a nice little wing. I also have hairspray and fuzz all over my finger because I was working on my wig before this, so. I have such a love-hate relationship with this eyeliner. Sometimes it works great and other days it's just like, no, I don't want to work today. And then I'm just going to bring that over the eyelid. Eyeliner. And I'm going to bring that down to the inner corner, but just a little bit. So it just has like a little shadow thing there. I'm tired today, can you tell? <laughs> Cute. Okay, and then I'm going to take the eyeliner and just do it underneath the eye, but not on my waterline, like just below. Kind of like that. I just want to get that very, like, anime eye outline. Okay, so that's the basic eyeliner. I think it's very, very cute. Now, for the fun color part. So I'm going to take this little angled brush, and I'm going to use the ColourPop Avatar palette in the shade Comet. That really red shade right there. And I'm just going to take a bit of that and just put it right along the wing part. Just like that. Also adding a little bit to the top. I'm gonna try putting my mirror over here and seeing if that's better. Cute. And then I'm going to go over the eyeliner one more time just cause some of the powder got on it. Okay, cute. And then I am just going to take that contour thing again, that really light color and just do a little bit right here, just to lighten it up. Then, blush. I'm gonna use this ColourPop Super Shock blush. I normally go for a more pinkish tone, but this one's more red, because I think it'll look better with the overall look. Also, I have yet to determine the best way to put these on. So right now, I'm just using my hand, and then evening it out with a rub. The brush. <laughs> Can I just say the formula on this is amazing. It is so soft. <laughs> now for eyebrows, I'm going into my big Sephora palette. I don't have a black eyebrow pencil, so we're just using a bunch of eyeshadow and then putting a bunch of setting spray on it. And it works. And we're just gonna do a nice little brow. One day I will get these even on the first try. It would be amazing. But today, it's not that day. <laughs> I am so sniffly today. My allergies have been awful. Um, anyway, now we're gonna go in with setting spray and just douse that. Those brows aren't going anywhere. 
and to dry it faster. Fan it. And now she's dry. So now I'm going to do some detailing on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my eyeliner again and we're gonna draw on some little bottom eyelashes to make it look more anime. And I'm just gonna do little things like that. Okay, so there's my little fake lashes. Then I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner to line my waterline. And then, mascara. I put quite a bit on. Really emphasize the lashes, because I don't feel like wearing fake lashes today, so. Okay, so there's eyes and cheeks and brows. Now for lips. Uh, I'm using this one. <laughs> I'm gonna use a lip pencil just to line them. I should have my glasses on while I'm doing this because I cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with this little red lippy stick from ColourPop in the shade Love Life. And I don't want to put too much on because I want it to be kind of a soft look which is also why I used a lighter liner. All right, I think that is it for makeup. So now I'm going to go through the costume that I have. So I got this off Amazon. It was like 50 bucks, I think, which is definitely on the cheaper end. And that's kind of reflected in the quality of some parts, but overall, I really like it. Um, this hanger is not helping me, but you can see it has the collar and the gem. Very cute. I tried it on, and these things are a bit long, but that's nothing I can't fix by just fighting them on the back with a little stitch. The back has a very nice, like, corset thing, so you can adjust it. Um, the fabric is so soft. I do really love that. Um, this part is attached. I was kind of hoping it would be more of, like, an overskirt thing, but that's okay. And here's the rose pattern. And then, I also have accessories, which I just realized I didn't bring over here. Oops. Okay, here's the big bag of accessories. <laughs> so it came with the headband, which I think is very cute. I love the little flowers, although I'll probably have to pin them down a little bit because they're a little sticky outy. And then, instead of wearing boots, because I can never find boots that fit my little chicken legs, um, I have socks and these little thigh things that go at the top of the socks. And then my shoes! I got these at Goodwill for like five bucks. And they're a little worn, but they are so cute. And then, oh wait, nope, I have one more thing. I also have the gloves, which these definitely seem like the cheapest part of the costume. They're not even like hemmed or anything, but they work and I can sew them if I absolutely have to. What I was going to say before that, oh, oh my gosh, I keep missing things. I am a mess today. There's also little earrings. Okay, I think that's the last part of the costume. <laughs> I am losing my mind. But anyway, I also have my wig, which I was styling this morning. So it has most little strands in front. I decided to braid the back part of it just to keep it more secure. It's a little frizzy, but it's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get into costume and I will show you the final look. So here is the final look. I feel so cute and I am in love with this dress. I am gonna probably do some minor sewing adjustments at the top, just so this stays up better and since these things are a little long. They work fine if my arms are like this, but if my arms are like this, then it's um, I'm very impressed with this considering how cheap it was. Obviously, gloves are a little cheap. They kind of have like some loose threads and stuff, but nothing I can't fix. Um, I got the socks and my cute little shoes on, if you can see those. I love the rose detailing on this. I think it's so cute. I am wearing shorts under this, by the way. I'm not gonna flash you guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here is a 360 view. If you wanna see the whole thing. The dress spins, which I like. 
And here is my makeup and stuff up close again. I should not sit like this because it hurts my knees. <laughs> but anyway, that is going to be the end of the video today. I really like this costume and I'm excited to do your for a con next month. Um, please let me know if you wanted me to do more content like this. I had a lot of fun doing it and I have a lot of other cosplays that I've already done or am planning on doing. So if you want to see how I do those, I will probably do that. So anyway, if you like this, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video soon. Bye-bye.